Right, Patrick, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready and I hope you too. As well from my side, a warm hello and welcome to our second webinar, Discover, Launch the Next Generation of Tech Management. If you don't know me yet, my name is Patrick Psiuk. I'm the CEO of Insights Data and part of the One Insight Group. I've been working in the field of analytics for over 10 years now, so it's really amazing and I really don't want to miss it. In the past two years, I have been able to carry out and accompany five successful migrations to launch and would like to share my experience with you. What will you expect by today's webinar? You will get an overview of launch by Adobe, all the key features and of course the highlights and last but not least, how can you get launch for free? So let's start with the overview. Um, launch is the next generation of tech management capabilities from Adobe. It gives you a simple way to deploy and manage all of the analytics, marketing and advertising tags necessary to power relevant customer experiences. Launch empowers anyone to build and maintain their own integrations with launch called extensions. These extensions are available to all users in an App Store experience, so you can quickly install, configure, and deploy your tags. It is an entirely new product with a new code base designed to replace the previous DTM, the Dynamic Tag Management Service from Adobe. And at the moment, Launch is offered to you for free, so please don't miss it, okay? Um, before telling you all the great feature of Launch, I would like to ask you one question and we will open a, um, a survey. What Tag Manager are you using at the moment? So you just have to click on one option that we know what Tag Management system you are using at the moment. And of course, it is full anonymous, so don't be shy to click on one solution. So we have uh, Google Tag Manager. We have, of course, five people using Launch and one are using Telium. Okay, cool. Good that you use uh, Launch at the moment. So next point is, what are the key features of Launch? So let me explain you one of the best feature within Launch called the extensions. An extension is a package of code, it's JavaScript, HTML, and CSS that extends, extends the launch user interface and client functionality. So you can build, manage, and update your integration using a virtually self-service interface. You can think launch as an operating system like the mobile OS, and extensions are apps you install and use to achieve your tasks. How cool is that? All the extensions can be browsed within an experience or in an extension catalog, what you see in the short video here on the slide. It looks and feels really like an app store. You can browse, configure, and deploy marketing or advertising tools that are built and maintained by independent software vendors. And if necessary, you can develop your own extension. I personally will have a webinar for my favorite extension soon, so please stay tuned. The next topic, the rule builder. So let's talk about the rule builder. You can create endless rules that combine multi multiple events, sequence in the way that you determine using if then logic with conditions and or exceptions. That means rules provide you options for events like a click, a mouse over, custom events, etc. Conditions, like what can be the condition of triggering your rule. Exceptions, what should your rule execute, uh, where should your rule ex execute and where not. And of course, the actions, what should your rule do. Build the request, send it, execute conversion pixels, etc. A really helpful feature of the rule builder is it includes real-time error checking and syntax highlighting for your custom code. So really helpful if you want to check your tags or pixels, whether they will work or not, and it prevents saving these errors. So really helpful for non-developers like me. I don't uh, develop, I'm not a developer, so um, I see if it works or not. 
that means uh, when when criteria outlined in your rules are met the conditions are satisfied then the actions you defined are executed in order it's pretty easy next fantastic feature are the data elements data elements are elements that collect organize and deliver data across web-based marketing and advertising technology this could be informations like uh, url like info user informations like age gender and of course your campaign ids and a lot of more informations you give to the data elements of course launch has open apis which means that automate implementation of individual technologies or a group of technologies are available that means launch interacts with reactor apis so deployments can be automated through apis you can integrate the launch apis with your own internal system and you can build your own user interface if desired but i can tell you i never use it i never used it till now so don't think about your own user interface last but not least the launch container tag is 60 percent lighter than dtm and 40 percent lighter than google tag manager so that means the content of your container is minified including your custom code so everything is modular if you don't need an item if you don't need a rule if you don't need a data element it's not included in your library the result it is an implementation that is fast and compact so let's talk about the last part of the presentation the highlights what are the highlights of launch by adobe it is definitely the enterprise publishing if you ever work with a tag management system um, i won't tell any names of them the publishing process is really a pain point and mostly a mess you can trust me but not within launch the publishing process enables teams to publish code to pages so different people can create an implementation approve it and publish it to your production page that means changes to your code are encased within libraries you define you specified where and when you want your code to be deployed multiple libraries can be built parallel by different teams and unlimited development environments this is definitely a blessing and of course the whole process is so easy let me give you a uh, an example how i use launch if i open launch the first thing i do is creating a library on development and select this as active for now all the changes i will do now will be saved in my created library and if i want to test my changes or additions i just have to build and to build it and are able to test it as adobe provides you a genius chrome plugin called launch switcher you are able to test your development library on your production page in real time. And this is really amazing. So all these are just a sample of key features, benefits or functions that launch provides. So you can imagine how easy and fun it is to use or work with launch. So what's missing, Samuel? Of course, how can you get a license of launch by Adobe for free? It's quite easy. First of all, you don't have to be an Adobe Experience Cloud customer. So you don't need any Adobe products to get a free license for launch. The second thing is just get in touch with us that we can request access for you by Adobe. And the third part is you must deploy the launch embedded code on your web page. That's it, simple as launch is. I know it was very quickly and short, but it was just a sample of key features and benefits you have with Adobe, uh, you, you have with Launch. And I hope you enjoyed the webinar and give Launch a try. There is nothing to lose. If you need any help, support, or have some questions about the process, you can also contact me afterwards and I will try to answer all your questions. If you have questions now, about the webinar or about launch, you can now also ask them using the common function or the question function um, Samuel showed you uh, before. So I'm here for you. Samuel, um, how to migrate from GTM to launch? 
Um, I mean, first of all, you have to um, make sure that you have a good documentation about GTM that you know on what page, what data elements are um, goes to what, what tool. And um, then you can all just change um, the DTM code or the GTM code with the launch code. And then you try to rebuild or recreate what you've done in GTM to launch. Um, I got one question which me before the webinar. I will um, just read it now. Uh, we as a company are changing from third party to first party cookies from Adobe. This also means we need to change our C names in the Adobe Core Analytics and Target extension. However, we own two domains that come in the same report suite, so one extension in launch. Um, so we were thinking to create a new data element that checks the domain and triggers like that are correct C name. Is that the best practice or do you have any other solutions for this? Um, it depends. It depends or if you have one launch imp implementation. So if you, for example, if you have two domains and you, and you use just one launch property, it could be difficult if you, are using two domains and you have two properties of launch, you can do it easily. And there is an option from Adobe offering that you get your own um, tracking server, that you have your own C names that goes to the tracking server of Adobe. And then you can um, you can use the C name, what, what you provide and what um, Adobe gets, that you can have two, um, one report suite, two, um, properties in in launch, and then you can switch um, the extensions. So you can you can type in or you can you can um, uh, do the settings. What you um, that you will get the um, third party to one uh, to first party cookies um, in a correct way. Um, to take over again. So thank you, Patrick, for this uh, first introduction of launch. And um, so to all the participants in the room. What are the next steps now? So we will share with you soon an article explaining what is launched in more detail. And of course, this article will come together with this recording. Also, as Patrick suggested, launches, uh, you have, we might have specific use cases and we cannot cover all the use cases in this uh, webinar. The idea of this webinar was to tell you what is launch, what are the great features of launch and how you could start using it. Now, if you want to go, to do the next step, feel free to come to Patrick. Feel free to come back to us either on LinkedIn, on email. We can set up a call next week with you, like 30 minutes call, just to see what are your plan, and maybe we could help you. And I hope you enjoyed this first webinar uh, together with Patrick. And uh, I really hope to see you soon again, very soon. And as I said, we'll come back to you by email, by chat, anyway. Just come back to us, or we come back to you. So, guys, thanks, thanks to be here, and uh, we wish you a nice day. Bye. Thank you. Bye, all.